Hello awesome people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do subscription box unboxings, makeup try-ons, and occasionally I throw some other things in to keep you on your toes. So today I decided we could do a get ready and chit chat with me, cause I don't think I've done one of them yet, and if I have, I've only done one, so we need to do more. And I was kind of thinking that I would like to use my imagination today, and whenever I feel like using my imagination, we need to use my Hip Dot SpongeBob Bikini Bottom Eyeshadow Palette. See how pretty that is? Oh, I just love, love, love the packaging. So if you've never seen it, this is what it looks like. You just open it up. You get a nice big mirror. And then this opens like this, so that way you can lay it down like this and have it like that when you're putting your makeup on. And then here are all of the beautiful colors. And yes, bright, beautiful colors. Alrighty, alrighty. So, how's everybody doing? I hope you all are doing great. Who's excited for the giveaway? I know I am, and I'm the one giving it away, but I tell you what, man, I'd give it away the same day if I could have. But I needed some people to enter, so that way that somebody could win. So, all right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Coral Floral just to put a base color on my whole entire lid. And then from there, I'm going to brighten it up with probably purples and yellows today. I don't really like yellow, but I'm finding out that it looks really good on me. I don't know if it's my eye color or my skin color or what it is, but it is super duper pretty on me, even though it's not my favorite color. But purple is my favorite color. And yellow and purples go together, so I guess. Now, I am not tapping off my product because, because, because I have been watching makeup artists, y'all, and um, they say that you should not tap off your product because then you're going to lose the majority of the pigment. So I'm like, okay, you're the smart one. You know what you're talking about. I will do as you say. So no more tapping off the excess eyeshadow. Not for this lady, no ma'am. Okay, we got that taken care of. And the only purple that I have is this shade right here. And it is meow, meow, meow. So that is the look at that. I just touched it. Can you see? <laughs> it just really is great. Okay. I do have my little switchity switch thing here to clean off my brushes. So I think I figured out my yellow problem, you guys. Um, it's my fluorine because I have a white ceiling because we just did this room. I have a white ceiling and I have like a yellowish, brownish colored, um, I don't even know what kind of fluorine it's called. But anyways, that's um, the kind of fluorine that I have. And my son told me that... Um, sun comes in, bounces off the white, reflects off the fluorine, hits me and turns me yellow. Um, and so I started closing all of my windows and just using my ring lights and stuff. And surprisingly, I think I figured out the yellow problem. I think I've got enough lighting. At the moment, I think I might be a little bit too bright. So tell me if y'all think I'm too bright. So I'm going to go in and I just tap like that because you don't need a lot. And then we're going to go into the eye and tap it, which I guess I need a little bit more. Because it doesn't have anything. There we go. There's some color. There we go. Maybe. Uh oh, maybe I should have used just the purple right eye brown. But oh well. That's finally coming. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. But I bought a third light because I felt that the other two that I had just wasn't bright enough when they were fully on, and, um, well, I want it to be bright, I want y'all to be able to see me, so tell me if you think it's too bright, and then I can tone down the other light, or maybe take it completely out, um, if you guys are okay with just the two lights, and the two lights would have been the video of the giveaway, and then this is the three lights, because I did, um, cut, shut all the curtains and everything and stop from turning yellow, but I only used the two lights, and I wasn't too happy with the lighting at all, so I went ahead and you know, changed it up. Got another light. I do like this purple. It is shiny a little bit. Not too shiny. Now this uh, palette does have fallout, and it don't bother me at all, because most palettes do. And I don't care if a little bit falls out. That's why I do my eyes first. I know, you know, everybody has their own preference, but 
I do my eyes first because then the little fallout that I have, it's easy to clean up. It's easy to um, cover up with the foundation or the concealer or whatever. Um, but if I put my foundation and all that on first and then I add my um, eyeshadow, then I can honestly say that I, it's so hard to clean up and um, I got to like take off um, makeup and redo it because like... I know some people like to put layers and layers of product on their face. I'm not that some people. I don't need a hundred layers of product on my face. And uh, so I don't want to have to layer up my foundation and stuff again just to take care of the fallout that, that's already um, on my face. I think I just lost track. Yeah. That's what happens when you get old. You lose your dang mind and forget what you're talking about. Oh, fallout. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> um, but if I do my eyes first and then my foundation, then I got to worry about having too much product on my face because if I do my foundation first, and it, then I'll have to like clean up this part and then add it again and try to make it even. You just kind of have to take everything off and start all over again. So it is what it is. But because I do listen to my um, makeup artists, and these are legit makeup artists. Like I have found them. I have Googled them, they do it for a living, and then they also do it on YouTube. I'm sure they get paid for that too because they have plenty of followers and all of that, but um, there are people out there that claim to be makeup artists who are not. Um, very good at doing makeup, but are not 100%, you know, they didn't go to school for it or anything. So the people that do go to school for it and have been doing it for 10 plus years that know what they're talking about, I'm going to take um, what they have to say. Oops. All right, let's clean that off since it fell on the damn floor. But I'm going to take what they have to say a hundred times more serious than um, somebody that didn't go to school for it, that don't do it for a living, that hasn't done it for 10 plus years. Like, I'm not going to take the advice of somebody who's just been doing it for a couple of years because they're still learning. I like the um, people who are seasoned and they know what they're doing. And those are the people that give me the best advice. And let me tell you, ever since I've been taking people's professional art, um, makeup artists, um, tips. It's like, oh, wow. Like it's amazing. So like, I haven't even blended this in yet. Like I'm just patting it everywhere that I want it. Like they said, they said to use the blending for the very, very last of it to get what you want. And then you blend, especially if it's one color that you want to blend out. So with shot Vanish said, I'm going to grab this brush right here. This is a blendy brush from my BH Cosmetics Festival set, brush set. And I'm just gonna kinda take this, rotate it around a little bit, just because I want everything to be blended, 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 blended. <laughs> nice, what do you guys think? Think it's cool? Think it's, like it's not too purpley, but it's purpley enough where, you know, I think it looks good, like, I could go for a little brighter, I guess, but, mm, mm, I don't think I will. I do know that I am going to have to use eye primer to do the middle. Um, I forget what, the, I think it's like a halo look, kind of what I'm going for today, I think is what it's called, I'm not sure. Normally, I uh, get everything that I need and I put it right here on my table and I, or when I was out on the couch, I'd have everything ready for me so that way I could just grab it and be done with it. And it looks like my camera is shifting. Oh, okay, I gotta go there. Hmm. Go a little bit, all right. So, um. But I'd have everything like right out in front of me and I could grab it all. But um, now that I'm getting better at editing, I can just like leave everything where it's at. Reach for it here, reach for it here, down here. And you know what? I can cut that shit out if I want. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what I will probably do with most of it. Because um, I like to grab stuff, use it, put it back. Like when I'm not recording, that's how I do things. So that's how I want to do things when I'm uh, recording for y'all. Because like, I don't do very good at being different. <sighs> And when I had to, um, when I had to use, you know, everything in one area, to be completely honest with you, it used to irritate the hell out of me because I'm not that type of person. Like, I like to use something, put it back. I like to use something, put it back. I like to use something, put it back. Like, you know, clean as you go type of thing. And, um, when I knew that I would use something and I'd just lay it down, like deep down inside of me, it was like, put it back. So now that I am um, doing, you know, the bedroom and the desk, now I feel like I can just go ahead and do my own little thing like I normally would. 
And if I want, I can cut it out. If I don't want, I can leave it in there. Like. Now, most people, I think, I've seen people like clean the area off or make sure there's no makeup there, but why? This primer, it works that way for a reason, you know? Like, you know, add it to the shadow and then you can get another color, you know? But all right, so after I finish adding my eye primer, then I do believe that I'm gonna go into the best shade ever, which is that yellow right there, to start off with. I'm just gonna tap where I put my eye primer at. Okay, there. I don't know if you guys can even tell. Maybe my lighting is too much. I don't know. But anyhow, I'll make sure I get a close up for you guys. I do really like this little. Which is so surprising because I freaking hate yellow. Like, uh, it's just because I'm now wearing it on my eyes because it looks good with my, it just looks good on me. Um, and my color wheel says it goes great with purple. So I love purple, so I figured why not, you know? And I tried it and I couldn't. I was so shocked, so shocked when I tried it. But just because I'm wearing it on my eyes, trust me, I still don't like the color yellow. It just lacks me a lot, so we're gonna have to just deal with it. So then I'm gonna go in my, with golden pineapple. That's like a um, like a shimmer shade, I think. What do I want to call it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Look. Look. Mm. <laughs> now I do think that I want to use another brush right quick. I think I'm gonna use this one. This is a Morphe brush, um, so I want to like want to darken. I want to darken up the purple because the yellow is so intense that I want the purple to be right there with it. So what I'm going to do. I haven't really. I should look up a makeup artist and see what they do when they prime their lids. I think this works okay. I don't know if this is the right way or the wrong way, but I think it does okay. Okay, and then, you guys see that? So pretty, I think, so pretty. Okay, maybe I just sent back too far. I don't know. But I see how I still have a little bit of yellow on that brush. I'm gonna go right under here, because that's where the yellow is. Right directly, same thing. And then, I need another brush. Do you want to see what I keep my brushes on? I keep it in my Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo. I got this for, um, I think Mother's Day. My daughter got me this palette for Mother's Day, and I think she got me the Scooby-Doo for Mother's Day also. Um, and it was my favorite um, coffee cup until I learned that uh, it's really hard to drink out of because of the way um, that it is. So I turned it into my brush holder for now. Trying to think of something else to use it with. Don't think I need any more brushes, even though um, I have on my my Ipsy and my Boxy um, account. I have like you know like brushes and accessories like all the time or whatever. But honestly, I do expect to you know put the majority of the things that I get from my boxes into my giveaways. There's gonna come a point where I'm just gonna either be overwhelmed with products or I'm just not gonna want any more new ones. So, and if I still keep getting tools, I'm out of water. And I still keep getting um tools, you know, brushes and sponges and stuff like that, then that's just going to be great to, uh, you know, go in to give to my people for the giveaways. I'm so excited about my giveaway too. So excited. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend the two colors together. So that way it looks like they're meant to be together and they're not separated. I'm like that watching, uh, my professional makeup artist people. I look really... Wait a second, let me shut that other light off real quick. Okay, that, it's a little better. I was looking super shiny, but I am oily, so yay me. 
I tell you, I look shinier than most people that I know. Ugh, did you see that? Did you see me just show that right in my eyeball? You should probably not do that. Uh, let me do that stuff. Let me do that stuff. You all know. Okay, that is beautiful. That is. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Hmm? Hmm? I believe I'm done with those. So we're going to just put all of this stuff back up. And I have this cute little thing right here that has all my palettes in it. I don't have that many, guys. I only have 19. It's not even a lot. Like, most people have hundreds, so. <laughs> mm. But I'm sure that'll change. I'll still be getting boxes and everything. And I'm gonna, next thing you know, I'm going to have shelves, like, behind me that's just full of makeup. There ain't going to be no decorating because, like, I'll take this down and I'll decorate for Halloween and then I'll decorate for, um, I don't decorate for Thanksgiving, y'all, so that ain't going to happen. Um, but Christmas and, um, I'll decorate it for Valentine's Day and St. Patty's Day and Easter and, and all of that, um. But if I keep getting a lot of products and I have to build a shelf back here, we ain't going to have pretty anything. It's just makeups. But if that's what happens, that's what happens. Okay. Oh, you want to see what I found? Oh, my gosh. Like, um, this is so crazy. So I bought this in 2015. So like five years ago, I remember buying it. And then I lost it. And I lost it. And I'm like, what the hell happened to it? Well, then when I was switching rooms, I found it. It is my 150 eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. And I am... It was still sealed. I just opened it, like, yesterday. And um, I took the plastic and everything off of it. And I'm like, oh, man, these makeups look really good still. So, yeah, like, I'm sure they're uh, considered, like, you know, outdated or whatever. But guess what? I'm going to use them. Because that's what I bought it for. And I lost it. Look at I'm turning yellow. I wonder if my palette turned me yellow. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to use my Big Fat Liner by Rockins. I really don't remember if I got this in Boxy or Ipsy. I got them in one of them, though. So, not that bad of a liner. I just thought it was something else. So I opened it. If I would have known it was an eyeliner, I would not have opened it because I have so many eyeliners opened but since I've opened it and I used it it's like became my go-to liner and I honestly believe it's because it's so freaking fat like it's so easy to hold on to but this liner is $25 and you can guarantee that <coughs> my cheap bottom is not buying it for $25 now if I can find it on sale for somewhere that's where it's like $10 or less and yeah, most definitely. But uh, $10 or more. I mean, it's a good liner, but it's not, you know, I don't put itself on my face, so it's not that good of a liner. I want a robot. I can do um, a winged eyeliner look for me that I can just be like, here, robot, do my eye look. My husband built me a shelf to put on top of my desk to give me more room. He's so sweet. I had just mentioned yesterday, as a matter of fact, I was cleaning up my area because I'm so indecisive. Like, I don't really, um, I put my stuff someplace and then I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then I put it in another place. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then I put it in another place. It takes me a few tries to figure out what I want. But I was like, you know, be cool if I had some shelves on my desk and next thing I know my husband's pulling out his um what is it called tape measure and he's measuring my desk and he's asking me how wide I want it and how tall I want it and, blah, 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 and like 15 minutes later well maybe half an hour later it probably took him 15 minutes to collect everything but but like 15 minutes after he collected everything, he's coming in and he's like, how's this? And I'm like, aww, you're the best husband in the world that just mentioned it. And he's like, yeah, I know. He's like, but it's my job to make you happy and to give you things that you want. So not very men, many men think that out there. So I got, I got lucky. got lucky with my choice for sure. All right. And then I'm just going to use this basic um, eyeliner pencil. The best husband in the world that just mentioned it. And he's like... Yeah, I know. He's like, but it's my job to make you happy and to give you things that you want. 
So not very men, many men think that out there. So I got I got lucky. Got lucky with my choice for sure. All right, and then I'm just gonna use this basic um, eyeliner pencil. It's old. I've had it for so many years. It's also probably something that needs to be thrown away, but no, thank you. Now, I don't go right into my waterline because it just, um, uh, like, fades away. My eyes are super watery, so I just do it right on the outside of the line. Just a little look. Sometimes I only do half a look, um, half of my eye. I have hooded eyes and by watching my makeup artist I say you should only do eyeliner halfway through your um, but I think that's for like when you're doing really bright and bold eyeliners when you're just giving it a little bit of um, attention I don't think it matters probably but if it does you know, well, I'm not a professional I just watch them and then I take their uh, advice and I do it and I think well I'm getting free advice, so I should probably listen to it. Okay, this is my Mile High Club Wonder Beauty Mascara. And I use two, two to three mascaras every time. So this just depends. Like, I use this um, Wonder Beauty one first because of the, um, the wand on it. I wish my computer or my camera would focus better. Um, Anyways, I guess I didn't buy the best camera, but what? But this type of brush, it's thin and it like separates my lashes. So that's why I use it. And then I do down here. And the same. And then after that, I'm going to go in with my Tarte C Surfing Curl Mascara. I don't know why I can't get it to focus. It says that it's on and like I have my motion on and everything and blah, 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 and it's not working. So I don't know. That's what that one, that one's a little fatter, but it's also a little clumpier, which I feel like it will give my eyes lashes to make them look a little fuller, I guess. I'm waiting. I want to buy some magnetic um, eyelashes. Oops, take that right off. I want to buy some magnetic eyelashes because um, I wonder if the actual lash itself is latex or if there's something else that's bothering my eyes because I just can't like every time I try using fake lashes um by the end of the night my bottom of my lids are so sold that I just can't deal with it and they're painful but all right so today is going to be a lazy day I ain't wearing foundation I do have this new color pop blush and so I will blush myself up just a little bit just a little bit my blush brush and then I found out you're also supposed to tap your blushes too that you're supposed to tap it on and not smear it until after you tap it on so and they also say that when you do like your contouring and your blush you shouldn't go or you know, to like do your face because they say you don't um, keep that face all day long that you should just look directly into your mirror and do it. So that's what I'm gonna do today because normally I'm like, and then I um, do my blush because I was taught to smile and put your blush on. But if they're saying not to, then we gotta try not doing it. So let's just do what they said to do and see how that works. You pat it on to the area that you would normally wear your blush. And then, oh look at that. I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but it was just, you know, that's where I normally wear my blush, and then I smile, and it's on my apples of my cheeks. That is such good advice. Such good advice, such good advice. I do need to clean this area up right here, though. So, um, since I'm not going to wear foundation, because I changed my mind, hmm, I do have this little makeup wipe. Hmm. We'll just clean it up with. I normally don't do this, but as I'm sitting here recording, it's getting hotter and hotter. <laughs> and uh, my foundation and everything will just drip the hell off of me. These hot days, so... Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and tap that back on there. And then I will blend it. Okay. Woohoo! Alrighty. Cute Beauty. And it is in the shade Honeymoon. Oh, don't focus. I'm still, I don't know. If I have to buy another camera, it won't be for a minute. Okay, that'll work. Oh, I have this pure lip gloss and it is in the shade sometimes I tell you it, they're still, still tiny I don't know I can't read it I tried so then I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it tone down the lips a little bit because today I want people to focus on the eyes but I also like my lips to be pretty too so do that okay guys as that said I don't really have any more makeup to put on since um as I was filming this it's getting really hot and I was like yeah we're not a we're not gonna put on a full face of makeup today so we're just gonna make it look like it is and that's what I did um believe it or not like 
I don't wear foundation a lot. I just started wearing foundation again when I got back into makeup. I'm having the hardest time finding my shade. I think I found it, but um, I'm still not like 100% like, yeah, this is the best day in the world. So I don't know. But alrighty, you guys. Thank you for chit-chatting and getting ready with me. I hope it wasn't too boring. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Remain awesome. And peace.